Any timbers? Welcome, Buccaneers, to Pixel Pirate Plays Endless Space. This is your host, Pixel Pirate, and where we left off last episode. Now it's been a about a week since I actually loaded this up, so <laughs> excuse me if I forget some things, but we took uh, Justic Justicum, and we took Gestrad, and we took We Electro and Genimus. Uh, the Bastards, aka the United Empire, have taken Dust, Duce and Benny. They took Duce a while ago, and they took Benny just recently. And they snatched it up from me, unfortunately. I didn't have enough time, or well, I had plenty of time actually to take it, but unfortunately I didn't get there in time. And basically we're just loading up Cygnus with cruisers. So we have two fleets of 1,700 and that's three cruisers each. Now as far as research goes we're not doing a great deal, we're uh, doing pervasive etching which will give us uh, plus 20 percent of uh, research which is what we're going for. Um, the other thing I want to do is actually get our uh, fleets up to scratch and if I recall correctly, that is somewhere around here. Yep, there it is there. Uh, futuristic game theory. So Now, I did have a few tips from various people in the comments on the YouTube page, and I've forgotten them all, so I'll look them up for next episode. But uh, needless to say, they were... Fairly interesting tips, uh, a couple of them would uh, generate me vast amounts of money through research and I uh, can't remember at all what the other one was, but in any case, let us continue on with our game. Uh, looks like the sellers want open borders, which I always refuse, so let's end the turn. And we have completed many constructions. Signius has completed a cruiser. Genomos has done a uh, hydrogen giant. Awesome. Kerr has done a uh, industry and so has Justicum. And they're going on with uh, satellites, which is fantastic. So let's have a look at Genomos. Let's see what you can build, Genomos. Uh, well, we definitely want some, uh, some form of research. Uh, let's do, um, looks like we've done the other two main, main ones, so let's do these two. Well, let's start with this one, that's only minus two, because we've only got zero. And we're at plus eleven, the tax rate. Uh, but we can't go any lower than that, unfortunately, so we'll just, uh, Continue on with that, I think. Um, I wouldn't mind some extra money in general. Let's see what we got. Uh, that's extra food. Uh, we're kind of doing alright for population here. It's uh, increasing every three turns. Which is fantastic, actually. Yeah, let's just leave it there for now, I guess. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. We have no exploitations. Tisk tisk, pixel pirate. And we have a tundra here. Um, um, we could get food, but I think I'll go for research. And, of course, well, this one's money, so, hmm, let's just go for research. Oh, yes, plus one on uh, gas helium. Oh, this is gas hydrogen. Hmm. Oh, well, we'll do that anyway. All right, and that is it. So let's end the turn. It looks like Justium's going to pop very soon. Oh, I think everyone just got an increase then. Yeah, rock and roll. All right, Cygnius is not looking too good as far as uh, the old sowers. I think that's the sowers, yes, the sowers. Uh, I am taking on the United Empire with uh, 
<coughs> influence fairly well, however, and Duse has lost what little they had, so excellent. Let's just see what they got here, 5,000, oh dear. Um, which means they could go in here, which is bad, generally speaking. <laughs> so let's get some cruisers into Kerr. Um, Alright, so I guess we'll just merge those two for now. Uh, this United Empire are giving me the shits. I really wanted to do a peaceful game. This looks like I'm not going to be able to. Okay, so. Game event. Endless signals tech discovered. Using leftover endless technology and partially animated dust, signaling systems were augmented around your home planet. This improved your detection range and extended your broadcast range, thus also extending your cultural influence. The lead scientist fled, set up a company called Spinmaster, and has sold the tech to all factions. Oh, thanks a lot. So, plus 20 influence area on system and plus 10 visibility. So that's why everyone expanded all at once. Great. <laughs> thanks, scientists, you pack of douchebags. <laughs> Alright, let's end the turn. Oh, man. Alright, our hero who is in uh, our system has upgraded, so let's get him doing something good. Um, and that would be science, so let's do that. And dismiss that. And the United Empire, oh no, I don't think so, mister. And uh, Rotnev have completed their food upgrade and they're going for a happiness upgrade. Excellent. Where's Rotnev? That's right there. Ah, oh, good. Their, uh, their influence is doing very well, I must say. Alright, I am very worried about this fleet here. And what have they got here? Oh dear. They could definitely pound the living bejesus out of me if they so chose. Which I think they're going to, looking at that giant fleet there. And I got another one coming. Oh dear. Um, let's see what I can do about that. Oh, wait. They're at war with... Who's that? The Pilgrims. Good. <laughs> let's talk to them. Um, we could... Well, we've already, we're already at peace, I think. Uh, but that could change fairly soon. Oops. Um, Alright, well, what else is everyone else doing here? Everyone likes me. They're at war with the United Empire, and they are cold towards the Pilgrims. So, okay. No one likes the Pilgrims. They are kind of the, the, uh, the pariahs, if you like, I guess. They're pretty small. Well, I haven't, haven't looked down here yet, so there could be anything. Alright, um, so what's Nile doing? Uh, they're going for happiness also, and then they're going to get some factories out. Um, hmm. I should probably start preparing for war. I get the feeling, got a bit of an inkling, that this is going to be bad. Ooh, they haven't created one of those yet. Um, and they can go for happiness, and happiness again, and then plus 40 research, and that'll do for now. Okay, so let's just have a look at here and see what else is not building. Ah, we. We is not building. Why are you not building? Why didn't you tell me? Alright, so we'll go for the heavy isotope refinery, and then the satellite, and then research, happiness, happiness. Done. Okay. Now, 
So Igneous has a ship in their hangar, which I'm going to get out. And I'll see if we can merge any of these fleets. No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, so we'll just leave it there, I guess. Um, oh, I'm not very happy with this research. I don't think I'm going to do that. It is 20%, but I need bigger fleets. I really, really, really do. Unlocks cooperation agreement. Um, invite to alliance, create alliance. Ooh. No, no, no. Um, well, I think this is the closest one. So we're looking at 17 turns there. What this? What does this give us? Minus 20% buyout and 25% trade route bonus. Uh, not too bad, I guess. Alright, let's end the turn. And Pavo and Valanis have both created cruisers. Awesome. Let's put a few more in there. And he can head to Kerr. Jeez, I've got three. Three. Ah, jeez, I really wish I'd have taken Benny. That is very, very annoying. Alright, you can go to Kerr. I guess we can create a giant uh, fleet at Kerr. And then um, chase him around if it comes to that. Although I don't think I'm going to have much luck with it, to be honest. And Valanus has also created one, so let's get him to go to Kerr also. So you could even go to Valanus from Duse, but I should be able to just manage if I'm lucky. If I if I get the fleets up high enough quickly, then we should be able to uh, to do something about it. Is it? Wait a second, uh, defender. Oh dear, accidentally moved my defender, that was not clever. And he'll move back, and... What's that? Oh, he's got big fleets too. Okay. <laughs> Looks like everyone wants to maybe take me on. <laughs> That's not good. Alright, um, so how are they going with their war? Oh, that's my guy. Let's move him down here. See what we got. So it looks like they're moving all their ships up to... I don't know. Perhaps here? Ah, mystery, mystery. Hmm. Let's see if they're still at war. Yep. Hmm. I'm not sure, it's uh, quite strange indeed. Ah, there used to be a couple of fleets there, didn't there? Hmm. Ah, I'm not sure, look, that, that latest patch uh, removed the, uh, the fleet spam, so it could be that those three fleets that were there are now one, but we'll see. Alright, let's end the turn. And they've increased in influence, and Genomos has put up a exploitation, and they're building another one. Awesome, awesome. Let's merge these guys in Kerr. Alright, they're at maximum capacity. And our hero has upgraded. Alright, rock and roll. Uh, that's labour, wit, science, yes, I like science. Ooh, what's that? Ah, okay. 
Okay, dismiss and oh, we've created a whole bunch of things. Right, Signius most notably has created another cruiser. Nile have generated happiness and are now building factories. Kerr has built a satellite and so is Justium. Whoa! Hello. What are you doing? Hmm. I think you're just a a scout. I think the if I'm unless I'm mistaken, the uh, factories only have zero uh, military might. So hopefully I'm right. <laughs> He's not going for for jets. But Justin's really going to pop soon. Look how big that is. Okay. Um, all right. Let's move all the ships. Alanis, you can. Uh, Intercept. Um, Alright, and who had a ship? Oh, it was Signius, wasn't it? Alright, create a fleet, Signius. And we should be able to merge a couple of these, and indeed we can. So let's do that post haste. Okay, so. Hmm. We're sort of getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. Don't worry guys. We might we might just pull through. We probably won't win. In fact, we're not going to win. <laughs> uh, shoot me in the face. Alright. Um, oh, our money's good though. Minus 9, 19. Yeah, alright. We can stay at 30. Alright, let's end the turn then. And the other two factions have increased in influence. Wish Justin would pop. Hurry up. <laughs> How long is that going to take to uh, get some uh, another five turns? Alrighty. Um, and we have more things built. Alright, Genomos has finished their uh, exploitations, which is awesome. So how long is it going to take them to build ships? 13. Uh, let's uh, increase their... Minus three, yeah, that's acceptable, I guess. Um, and that's minus five, such a big hit. Not something I'm ready for just yet. Uh, let's go for money here, see how that goes. Uh, and yeah, and then we can maybe some build some ships there, hopefully. And Gestrad have completed their happiness. Pavo have created another cruiser for me. Good old Pavo. And you can go to Kerr. And that's it. So let's end the turn. There we go. There goes Justium. Fantastic. And he's completely out of my view, so... Alrighty. Oh, he's moving back. <laughs> okay. Um, Alright, what research have we completed? So we got plus 20 influence area on star system. Ooh, I'm really going to build those. Plus 2 academy cap on empire. Awesome. Ah, oh, so I haven't built that yet. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, so plus 25 trade routes and plus minus 20 buy at bonus. Uh, that's not too bad. And then we get a very tasty plus 20 influence, 20 percent influence, which I'm definitely going to build a lot of. So let's end the turn. And we've got eight turns to get that, so he's hoping it's sooner rather than later. Alright, super bug contagion. Doesn't sound good. Um, one of the side effects of highly developed life science is highly resistant diseases, whilst research generally manages to keep ahead of them. In this case, an outbreak has decimated millions of your loyal subjects. Nicknamed Raptor Virus, it seems to pop up everywhere most unexpected, uh, unexpectedly. One population loss on three random planets with at least two population. 
Okay. The Lanners have created another cruiser for me, and I'm going to have to put more in there. And he can go to Kerr. And has he... Yeah, no, he hasn't changed anything in, in that system. There's nothing in Doucet. Uh There's something going there, though. 891. I'd say that's going to Benny, or I hope so. And I have nothing in Gaikon. And nothing anywhere else, really. So this could be where he makes his move. It's quite possible that he's actually had peace with... Uh... No, he's still at war. Okay. Fine, fine. The longer you're at war with someone else, the better for me. Alright, let's move our ships. So they have fleets of 15, and they're up to 5,000. So, 5,000 military might, that is. So I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> um, I've only got 7, and I'll have another 2, so that's 9. Um, Hopefully we can get up there. Ah, good. And our system, other system guy has increased in level. So let's have a look what he can give us. Um, plus 40 happiness. I might go for that. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Happiness is always a good thing. Sowers want open borders. Well, I'm sorry, Sowers, but you're not getting it. And what have we done now? Uncovering the stars. You have mapped half the known galaxy. An achievement as practical as it is impressive. After all, knowledge is the first step to power and control. Oh, dear. All right, so that's only half. Gee, I would have thought we had much more than that. All right, you go over there. And, oh, yeah, there's another part there, so I guess so. Unless there's something I'm missing in my systems. Oh, well, there's one there. Another one there. Another three, actually. And we didn't hit that one either. Or that one. Alright. Okie dokie. Let's end the turn. And it looks like the soul has increased in influence. How's Signia's going? Oh, not too good. I've never actually taken over a system with influence. I'm not even sure if it's possible. Surely it is. Hmm. Alright, the pilgrims want open borders. Pfft, no thanks. Um, oh, and we've got lots of stuff going here. All right, Niall has created a factory. So let's get that happening and put him in one of these, I think. Pegasus, um, large gas methane. Um, uh, that's really bad. Uh, Jundor. That'll be really bad too, I think. Yep. Alright, well, I think we can decide that in our next video because we are, in fact, over time. So, I'm going to end it here. Thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And we will see you next episode.